Hey there, wrestling fans. This is Eric Snuck alongside Alistair Diamond, as usual. Uh, welcome to Superstars of the Ring this week. Uh, huge breaking news in the last seven days uh, concerning not only the CCW Heavyweight Championship, but also the CCW Tag Team Championship. We'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, here with us today, we got the number one contender for the Southern States Championship, Alistair Diamond. How's your petition going? What petition? Your, the petition that you've been talking about for the last three or four weeks. Oh, last week's news? Oh, we're past it. Keep going. i got to fix my bow tie. Uh, all right. Uh, well, the biggest news out of last week is the whole situation Champion. with the CCW Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Jamie McKinnon injured uh, after WrestleBash, after his match with Rock and Roll Chris Turner uh, in the interference by Society of Sin. The, the title is now... Vacated. We don't have a champion. I I don't know what to make of that. Uh, it's very simple. We don't have a champion. You have to go six weeks and defend the title every six weeks. If you don't defend the title every six weeks, you have to vacate it. Yeah. It sucks it happened to a guy such as Good, just a fantastic guy like the outlaw Jamie McKinnon. But I mean, that's how the business works. I'm certain whenever he decides to re-enter in that race, he'll probably regain it pretty immediately. I think the more shocking part of this is that we actually gave uh, McKinnon the option of keeping the title and not having to defend it. And He's a smart guy. He said, no, I'm not going to do that. He's, I, a, I, he's, a, he's a genius. I may not agree with him personally. Uh, See, that's the uh, underlying thing about Jamie McKinnon. You, he comes across as he's, you know, he spits, he does all this. I know he nerves you for some reason, whatever. I mean, we don't have the same fashion sense or anything. Clearly. But as in the ring, what does that mean? He doesn't wear great bow ties, we know. It's still a pretty awesome guy. In the ring, he's one. Of, he's a genius. All his anger, everything you see of him is controlled. He's, he's, he's mind games. I, That's why he was champion, not only for so long. That's why he won the championship the same night he won in the Stampede. That's why he had it for so long. He knows that the title will be there. If he can get rid of Society of Sin, he can go right back to that title. You are in a different world now, aren't you? You're just a completely different person than what we saw a week. What happened in the last week? What's changed about you? What's going on with you? Nothing's going on. Are you okay? I are you know. sick? Here, uh, me... No, don't touch me. Why well, are no. you touching You're yes. gross as normal. It's the best thing going. <clears throat> There's big things for this for the Alistair Diamond brand. You understand that? Huge things. Uh, well, I'd like you to tell us more about these huge things. What's going on? No. You'll know when it happens. What are you talking about? All right. Well, uh, we're going to get into more news later on with the uh, CCW Tag Team Championship. You uh, have no idea what it's like. It'd be great, do you? No idea. We can dream together. Uh, this week, we're going to go to our match of the week this week from WrestleBash. That's weird. Pekovis from Society of Sin uh, taking on... Say his name. Cousin Ricky J. Um, enjoy the match of the week this uh, this week, guys, and we'll, we'll see you after the break. <laughs>
different. It's different, but if you notice that right now, Snug, Dante Steele is still very leery on the ringside uh, as he is watching over what I think can only be construed as his master in Pekovis. Matt Pekovis, uh, let me rephrase that, I'm sorry. Dante has sort of become a follower of Pekovis, and they have formed a very brutal tag team in society sin. But it's not just about them. Right now, we got Pekovis taking on Cousin Ricky J. As Ricky J with a little bit of a size advantage on Pekovis, and he's certainly taking early control of this match. Yeah, we just saw a hip toss and an arm drag. He's got him out of the ring on his heels. Got him out of the ring on his heels, but you know what? Pekovis is still standing, and sadly, well, unfortunately, so is Dante Steele. And uh, as long as one or both of them is standing, it can certainly spell certain doom for any opponent that they're in the ring against. Ricky J is going to have to keep one eye on Pekovis, one eye on Dante. And it's real hard to do, you know, there's nobody that can look in two different directions. But right now, Ricky J is going to have to do his best. But, you know, he does have the added advantage of having the crowd solid behind him. He can definitely, definitely get motivated as good as any competitor here in CCW. Yeah, the CCW crowd here today, they love, love Cousin Ricky J. Yes, they do. Repeated chops now by Pekovis as he's almost taunting Cousin Ricky J in a beautiful spin heel kick. Oh, good grief. Cousin Ricky J's head just bounced backwards, almost 90 degrees. Pekovis is so brutal and so evil. And worse than that, he is so unpredictable. crowd now showing their uh, their lack of love, if you will, for Pekovis as he is uh, solidly controlling Cousin Ricky J in this match. As much as they love Ricky J, they hate Pekovis. Yes, they do. <laughs> Ricky now showing a little bit of offense there. Beautiful scoop slam by Cousin Ricky J. Not an easy thing for anybody to do on someone with Pekovis' size. But I'll tell you, if there's a competitor in CCW can do it, it's going to be Ricky J. Now he's starting to build up the locomotive. Quick thinking by Pekovis. He rolls out to the outside of the ring. Ricky J has no choice but just let it happen. Well, it's the second time in this match that he's done that, but Ricky knows that this match can only end on the middle of the, or in the middle of the ring. So he's going to stay there. Probably a good idea with Dante Steele lurking around. Well, there's two members of Society of Sin on the outside and only one Ricky J. Dante Steele, obvious conspicuous with that dreaded kendo stick as well. We've seen that contraption used on more than one occasion against many superstars here in CCW. Ricky J now having a little fun with uh, Pacabus. Taking a break. You better not get too lackadaisical because Pacabus is very resilient and very unpredictable and very angry. Irish whip now by Pekovis. Uh, beautiful flying clothesline. Just the maniacal expression on Pekovis' face. Dante still seems to take something in. Every time Pegavis performs a maneuver, it's like it's feeding Dante Steele's soul. You can see it in his eyes. Every time a move is accomplished, the complexion of Dante Steele just changes. He's definitely learning a lot from Pekovis. Dante Steele, a former fan favorite here in CCW, is, for lack of a better term, been completely brainwashed. But as we see Pekovis continuing to control that leg of Cousin Ricky J, Dante Steele continues to lurk about on the outside of the ring.
Beautiful snap suplex by Pegasus. How did he get Cousin Ricky J over? But only a two count for Ricky J there. Near fall, Ricky J able to power out of that. I don't think any normal man could have, but that was just the sheer brutal power, you know, shown by Pekovic with that snap suplex. He just continues to taunt and stalk Cousin Ricky J. Ricky J trying to fight back now. Oh, beautiful reverse the time drop. Ricky J with a nice clothesline. He takes Pekovic down, going for a quick pin. Very close near fall. That was about two and a half there at least. That was probably about two and nine tenths. It was real, real close. Nice side breaker. Can he put Pekovic away? Incredibly resilient as Pekovic is. He manages to get out of yet another pinfall attempt. Beautiful back slam by Cousin Ricky J. And that takes a lot out of Pekovic. This could be it right here. Well, not going for the pinfall. Not going for the pinfall. He's going for somewhere he's not used to doing. Ricky J now oh. taken to the ropes. What's he going to do? A flying Cousin Ricky J. <laughs> that is a very good call for what that was. A beautiful flying elbow drop. Should have gone for the pinfall right here and kept it. I'm not sure what Ricky J has in mind here, but he could have put this match away. Oh. It's almost as if now he's taunting Pacovis. I didn't know Ricky J had a mean streak in him, but he is showing a little bit of ferocity. I agree with you. He's, it appears like he's going back up to the ropes again. Or maybe not. Maybe not Ricky J, I think, thinking better of it. He knows that's not normally his territory. Kicks the knee out from under him. Get Pekovic back on the ground. Might be a pretty good idea. It might be a smart idea, in fact, to attack Pekovic, not just from the front, but from behind in every angle. As we now we see Dante Steele trying to, to get the referee's attention. What is he doing? What is Dante doing? Ricky J now, he's letting Dante have it, but he better pay attention to what's going on the other side. He needs you know, to be careful. now getting back up to his feet. Ricky better be careful. Oh, oh good grief. Pekovic with a low blow. He's got his foot on the ropes. I think Pekovic just came away with a cheap win right there. He got away with one that behind the ref's back. Ricky J is mad. It is what it is, but you know what? It's going to go down as a victory for Pekovic. Welcome back, wrestling fans. What an incredible match between Cousin Ricky J and Pekovis of Society of Sin. It seems like no matter what these days, Society of Sin is just bent on destruction, especially when they have a kendo stick in their hands. What's your take on this whole situation? Um, my take is, is if you're going to be in a fight with a kendo stick, you should probably be the one with the kendo stick. Astute observation. You're... You, can't, you still can't spell astute. Stu uh, stu no, keep going. Anyways, uh, we have even bigger news uh, this week concerning the CCW Tag Team Championship, uh, specifically wow. talking about Diamond Dave purchasing the rights to the licensing to the name Future Evolution. Uh, Daniel Anderson on board, but apparently Jonathan Wells has quit Future Evolution. Uh, not Would you be on board? I, I don't know the situation. I, I'm not really sure what... what... if you were put in the situation? Would you be on with I don't know what the situation is, so there's... Well, you know what the situation is. Diamond Dave came along to help, mm -hmm. and apparently Jonathan doesn't like help. 
I mean, if he really wanted to elongate, he's already the longest reigning CCW champion. If he wanted to be the longest reigning CCW tag team champion, he'd just take Diamond Day's help. But he didn't, so he kind of kind of was wishy-washy, kum si, kum sa. So with that happening, they don't know. I mean, what is what is your what would you do? I'm not really sure. I, I do know that you are, the CCW you can, tag team you can championship. make an opinion. It's not politically correct, politically incorrect. You can make an opinion. I promise you. She might have a lot of interest in the story. A anyways. What are you talking about? Anyways, uh, I'm trying to put on the greatest show the CCW can put on, the best product possible. Jonathan, what are you doing? Jonathan Wells, future endeavor from Future Evolution. Uh, that was a terrible as, joke. as far as we know, the CCW Tag Team Championship will still be on the line on November 7th in Callahan. Uh, I have to ask Daniel and Diamond Dave. That'd probably be a good idea. That is a great idea. Um, You're off your game today, aren't you? No, we just had a lot going on in the office this week between the, the CCW Championship, the Tag Team Championship, and the Southern States Championship, which you'll have your match with Logan Stevens. I'm sure you're excited about that. That's what you've been no, petitioning this no, whole time. No, I'm not. It's not happening. We move on to bigger and better things. Does you, that make sense? Do you get that? You, you say that I'm off my game. You're just different this week. I don't, I'm not sure what's I'm going on. I'm different. You're Nothing's little... going on. Flew in here, doing the show, flying out. All right. Uh, we're we're going to go to an interview with Daniel Anderson. Maybe we'll get some more more answers to That's this great crazy scenario here. So uh, take it away. We'll, we'll we'll be back after. What do we have to say? It, it should be interesting this week. Let, let's go ahead and take a look, guys. Breaking news. There's turmoil in the CCW Tag Team Division. Breaking news, Diamond Dave has bought Future Evolution in the tag team titles. Breaking news, the future Jonathan Wells is taking a leave of absence and has decided to quit Future Evolution. Breaking news, the future is now the past. The future of the CCW Tag Team Championships lies with Diamond Dave, Dano Anderson, and... Oh, you're going to have to wait for that. Because you see, those who fail to plan, plan to fail. And oh, do we have a plan. Now, Jonathan Wells, you want to sit at home with your wife and kids. You want to choose family over gold. That's your business. But I plan on taking CCW by storm. Diamond Dave plans on taking CCW. The tag team titles, they are just the beginning. November 7th. In Callahan, it begins. Shoot more? Sorry, you're just the first. Continental Championship Wrestling. Have you ever dreamed of crowds chanting your name? Would you like to enjoy the exciting life of being a professional wrestler? Continental Championship Wrestling exists to help make your dreams a reality. In business for over 25 years, Continental Championship Wrestling has been the starting point of many careers that have spanned into the worlds of World Championship Wrestling, TNA, New Japan, and the WWE. Regardless of your age, size, or athletic ability, we are willing to work with you to bring out your best. Born today from some of the most amazing talent in professional wrestling. Welcome back, CCW fans. You good? Sit down your system. What are you talking about? Did you hear that interview? That is some groundbreaking news. This is your job. This is the part where you parlay and talk about what's happening in the week. Go on. I'm so glad you're a better wrestler than you are a host. And that's not saying much. But I'm pretty good at hosting. It's like being the I'm thinnest kid at Fat Camp. It, it just doesn't really matter. But What are you talking about? Anyways. You are something today. You are absolutely something. So uh, what we've learned this week is uh, we don't know anything. Uh, the CCW you mean Championship. You don't know anything. CCW. He said he's going to have a tag partner. Diamond Dave's got it covered. Well, that makes I, sense. I, listen, I, I know broadcasting's new to you, but 
Broadcasting's not new to me. You have two co-hosts. You ever been in front of like one a talks. thousand people at one time the wrestling, winning matches? They you don't ever talk done that over before? each other. Have you ever done that before? It's... Have you ever done that before? I didn't think so. <sighs> You're such a child. I'm not a child. You are a man child. I'm not a man child. You I'm... are a that's the chubby thing. cheek that's the man child. I Just... really don't want to kill you right now. Where's I have so much going on in, all them, in the office this week. It's gotta be like a Kinder stick around here or something. We hope to have more answers for you guys next week. What concerning... answers do you want to know? There's going to be a guy there. All right, so here are the answers Jonathan we need to Jonathan Wells, Ixnay. Status New guy there. On the CCW Heavyweight Championship, Hurt. we don't know. Status of the CCW Tag Team Championship, we don't know. And apparently, the status of the Southern States Championship, we don't really know. So, you suck at your job. <laughs> I can't express my disdain for you. Enough. You you should actually keep it objective, considering you're the director of operations. I know you've had a bad week. It's been a very bad stressful week. You know what you're a bad week helping. is? What's a bad week for you? Not knowing which color polo shirt to pick. You ever had that problem before? I didn't think so. So that's a bad week. That's a bad week. That is a very bad week. All right. Anyways. Bentley or Beamer, you ever had that problem? That's a bad week. You never know. I'll put that look good. Of course it does. We'll try to get some more answers for you guys next week on CCW Superstars of the Ring. Thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Snook, alongside. Say it. Come on. I'm. I don't want to say it now. What's your name? You know what my name is. What do they all pay for to come see? That's the name you're looking for. Come on. I, I, you're not rock and roll, Chris Turner. I, uh, I mean, he can't see us anyway, so. I'll, uh, it starts with an A, ends with an R. Alistair Diamond. You can say it a little better than that. Alistair Diamond. It wasn't better.